Hello, everybody. A happy Monday to you all. I hope your week is off to a great start. Dan Jascott from Empower Leadership here with our second weekly Empower From Home activity. This week's challenge is the Blind Maze Challenge, which we're really excited about because this is actually a, a challenge we do during our in-person team building events. However, we've modified it, so it is an indoor activity. What you're going to need is a pencil, a printout of a maze, and we actually have four different versions of mazes available on our website that you can print out. You're going to want a flat surface, a partner, a stopwatch to record your time, and then we would love to see how you do on this challenge. So if you're interested, you can record your efforts and share that with us. The goal of the activity is to complete the maze with your eyes closed in the least amount of time and with the fewest amount of boundary touches as possible. The rules for the activity are very simple. You're going to start by placing your pencil down at the start of the maze. And then you're going to take some time to look at the maze and try to chart your course to the finish line. Look at the maze for about 60 seconds, then close your eyes and wait five seconds before starting. For safety purposes and to make sure that you don't ruin the table that you're doing the maze on, please keep your pencil in contact with your paper throughout. You'll start at the designated starting area and finish at the center circle of the maze. We're going to have you try this activity two times. The first time, you're going to go at it by yourself, eyes closed, no help. The second time, have your partner work with you and they will serve as your communicator. Your communicator partner can talk to you, but they're not allowed to touch the pencil or paper or guide your hand through the maze. Before you start, take a second to think about which trial you feel will have the best result the trial with or without your communicator. To help you answer that question, I've shared with you the maze that I did earlier today without a communicator partner. This was just Dan and his eyes closed. As you can see, there are quite a few boundary touches, maybe a couple shortcuts taken, but eventually I got into the finishing area just barely. I did my best. It definitely wasn't perfect. All right, how did you do on the blind maze challenge? How long did it take you to complete the maze and how many boundary touches did you have when you were by yourself? How long did it take you to complete the maze and how many boundary touches did you have when you had a communicator partner? I'm going to go ahead and guess that you did much better when you had your communicator partner with you. Sometimes we have trouble communicating with our classmates, our teachers, our parents, and it's even a harder for us to ask for help. It's uncomfortable because it's hard to admit that, hey, we're struggling and we don't understand what we're supposed to do. We can try our best, but sometimes still struggle to complete a task. Always remember that there is help and support available, especially to students. All you need is some courage to overcome the challenge of asking for it. Let us know how you did. Share your video on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter at Lead with Empower and make sure to use the hashtag Empower from Home. We'll see you next week for our next activity for the Empower from Home Challenge.